What is up guys? My name is Kai Wong and we are back with another video for you guys today. And I'm so excited because we are finally back at Cambria Body Works and we are heading over to pick up my Civic EG hatch build project. To be honest with you guys, this is going to be the first time I've seen my car since it's been painted. So this reaction is going to be as real as it can get. Check it out. Damn, that looks crazy. Hey guys. Hi man. How you going? What's up, brother? How you going? Good Sick work on the car, man. Where's your brother? Um, hiding somewhere. Oh, there he is. dog. Hey, bro. How you going, man? The car looks sick. What's up, bro? That's Thanks it. for the work, man. It's alright, man. Uh, it looks like a brand new car. <laughs> oh, man. It looks like a completely new car. Holy crap. That is so sick. Man, I am stoked. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Sick. This car looks like a totally different machine. When I drove in, the car was rusted. It was all in pieces. All the bits and panels were falling off. And now it is a completely new car. I haven't even gotten the wheels fitted onto this car yet. And it looks sick. I still got a few more bits and bobs to add to complete this car. So it's still not done yet. It's almost there. And there's going to be a few more videos leading up to the finished product. You're going to be seeing the car at Black Label in a few days time and I can't wait to bring the car to the event and it's going to be unveiled at Black Label so it's going to be sick. So I'm just going to sort out a few of the financial matters with uh, Harris and I'm so happy. Honestly the paint is so so good. They've done such a good job in restoring this car. It looks like a completely different machine. Thanks to him. Everybody hit up my man Harris at Cambria Body Works for the best paint work ever. He will hook you up with quality as good as this. We try our best here man, keep you guys happy. Awesome man, thank you so much. What is up guys, so I finally brought the Civic over to MK Motorsports and we are here and the Civic is on the hoist right now. So we've just picked it up at Cambria Body Works and now we're gonna get the wheels fitted. So these wheels took me so, so long to find. I wanted to find a set that would really accentuate the look of this car as well as being really true to what I love in wheels. And if you don't know already, T37s from Ray's Vault racing are literally my favorite wheels of all time and when they come in bronze honestly those wheels pull heartstrings and so I finally managed to find a set it wasn't from Australia and it also wasn't from Japan it was actually from a fella out in the United States in Minnesota a huge shout out goes to Diablo's Integra for actually selling me these wheels it was crazy trying to track these wheels down I had Skyline CX help me out and then he put me in contact with Diablo's Integra it's been shipped straight from the USA and now it's here in Melbourne and it's getting loaded onto my car I've just bought tires for it as well here at MK Motorsport they happily helped me out in finding and hooking me up with a really great price and yeah definitely check out MK Motorsports if you need any wheels tires and services but we're here now and we're gonna get them mounted onto my car get an alignment done and get it all ready to go for black label which is coming out pretty much next week so the car is gonna be show ready but till then I still got a few more things to finalize with the car but as you can see, these are the wheels. So these are bronze T37s in 16 by 8 plus 15. So the very, very, very rare 8 plus 15. <laughs> this is actually my first time looking at the wheels since I got them. They were shipped directly to MK Motorsport. So I didn't even get a chance to look at these wheels till now. Damn, they are so sick. Look at that concave. It's literally concave out of a GDR fitment. And I've got some brand new DeRezza Dunlop Star Spec Z3, which would be a really good street and track day tire. Pretty much everything I need for this car. So right now we're gonna get it fitted onto the car. 
I'll show you what it looks like when it's all been mounted and aligned. Yeah, so excited to get these wheels finally on the car. It's been a really long journey. Getting the car, restoring it, painting it, and now getting the wheels mounted. It's still not complete yet. I'm so particular with this stuff, but it's a work in progress and I'm so happy to see it finally here. And almost done. Whilst we're here, we also managed to pick up a set of raised lug nuts in black with bronze writing. We had a lug nut conversion from four stud to five stud. These studs have worn out and we need to get new studs fitted onto the car. As you can see, we're actually missing one on this side and one on the left hand side as well. So we definitely got to get those fixed before I do any track days, but that's a huge concern and we need to get that fixed straight away. I've decided to leave the Happy Honda Day sticker because that was from early in the 90s. You can't get these stickers anymore. And the guy I purchased the car off used to work at Honda and he was able to get the sticker. So we've left that there just as a memento from the early 90s of which this car was from. Painted here later on. As you can see we've also deleted the rear white coat back. It looks really clean, really flush now. I've also ordered some new tail lights to go on for the car, which will really look good once I paired everything up with the wheels and everything. You'll see what that looks like when that goes on. Here's the other stud that came off. I thought for a second all four studs came off, but it's actually just this one here. Do you want the bad ones? Do you want the bad ones? 